Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Electronic Circuit Hub. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon. Okay, so today's topic is how to design a circuit using LT Spice. How to simulate a circuit using LT Spice. So I'll show you a step by step design procedure. A step by step procedure to create a schematic in LT Spice. Then I'll run. I'll run the simulation for the same circuit. Okay. Then I'll share the Google Drive link for the circuit what we have created. Okay. So you can download it and you can do the practice. Okay. So for that. You have to install the LT Spice in your computer. So search it for LT Spice download. Okay. Uh, go go in analog website. Okay. From here, you can download the LT Spice for Windows. Since I have already downloaded in my system. I directly run the LT Spice. Okay, so this is LT Spice XV double I. Okay, so now you have to create your project. So go go in file, new schematic, go again. Save as, save it in your desktop, transistor switch, okay. This is .asc file, right. So this is now, this is now your work area. So, so I want to, I want to, I want to create a circuit. For transistor, that means transistor working as a switch. I want to create a circuit using transistor in a such a manner that transistor works as a switch. All right. So this is component window. You go it here. So I get voltage source. Okay. I need two voltage source. Keep it here. Keep it here. Then skip. I I want an PN transistor. Okay. Now now I want register control plus R to rotate it. Okay. One more register control plus R to rotate it. Okay, now I want ground a reference this here, then somewhere here. <coughs> you want to drag any component, go move, select, and drag it. Right, if you want to join the all component using wire. Okay. Okay. So now all components are connected with wires. Let me assign some value. This is 4.7K. This is 330 ohm. Okay. 
this is dc 5 volt dc okay now here i want pulse pulsating signal so i'll go in advanced setting then pulse then the initial voltage is 3.3 volt on time is 0 0.5 millisecond total time period is 1 millisecond right all right okay now this is now you have done with your schematic part circuit part now you have to you have to do the transient analysis for the circuit how will you do so you have to run this icon run it then here you want this will ask for the stop time so i'll keep some 10 millisecond stop time okay now you have got this window this is this window will show you the waveform so suppose you want to check the waveform here yeah it's showing 0 to 3.3 volt with some frequency it is having total time period of 1 millisecond okay 2 millisecond 3 millisecond so your one pulse is 1 millisecond okay if you want to check the voltage here you have applied 5 volt what you are getting you are getting 5 volt dc that is very correct okay now i want to add one more feature for you i'll add some level here this is s w i t c h switch okay i want to add some level that is output s w okay that's fine I want to add some level here. This pitch input. Okay. So let me run the simulation again. Run it. Check the voltage at your input. This is 0 to 3.3 volt with 1 millisecond cycle check the voltage here this is also 0 to 5 volt with 1 millisecond time period now i want to i want to show two window add plot pane so the first window is for input here you get voltage input the second window is for output or switch here you get voltage switch so you see here when your input is zero your output is high when your output is high your input is zero that means your transistor is working in saturation mode and it works as a switch okay now now i want to show you some other feature okay let me zoom it your input to zero your output is high your out input is high your output is your output is zero it's not zero it is closer to zero this is why because transistor works in a saturation region and there should be some saturated voltage for transistor it could be in millivolt let's say 300 millivolt 400 millivolt etc okay now let me close it now i want to 